YouTube, it is Trinity Productions, TrinityProSound.com, coming at you once again with another video. This time, we are really excited to bring you a new product that RCF has just released. We just took delivery on it, and it is here and here. This is the new Evox 12. So they've got the Evox 5, the Evox 8 that we've done a video on already, and now we've got the Evox 12, which is one mean mother of a system. Um, this thing, the output out of this thing is just absolutely mind-blowing. Um, the box, the subwoofer box has got a 15-inch driver in it. This has got six 4-inch drivers in it. The column is much taller than... Um, the Evox 8, um, it just has some phenomenal output to it. And we're going to go ahead and get into the specs on this and then do a take it apart. We are going to do a separate video um, on the performance of this, uh, like we did with the Evox 8. Um, we'll take it and put it out in the parking lot here at the office and do a walk around and kind of let you hear. Um, as best you can with a mini camcorder um, of what the coverage is on these things. But the dispersion this way um, on the Evox 12, I think is just as good as the Evox 8. It's pretty stinking amazing. Um, so with that said, let's get into the specs on this. Um, the Evox 12 is rated from 40 to 20,000 cycles. It has a maximum SPL of 130. Um, the coverage angle that they have measured is 90 degrees. It's got a 30 degree this way, so it is really kind of just in your face wherever you put the column and point it, um, it is going to go. Um, it has a 15 inch driver um, with a, a three inch voice coil. And then as far as the satellite transducers, I stand corrected, I thought it was six. It is eight four inch uh, drivers with one inch voice coils in them. Um, the amplifier um, is a uh, 1,000 watts peak, so it's about 500 to the, um, to the 15 inch driver, 200 watts peak, so about 200, so it's a 700 watt uh, RMS amplifier. Um, the crossover is at 180 for the 15 inch um, driver. Um, it has thermal uh, and RMS limiting. It has a uh, software limiter. Convective cooling, nice, no fans. Um, can be powered 115 or 230, 50 or 60 cycles. Um, inrush current, 10 amps, but um, again, with all of these digital amplifiers, the current draw on them, since the load is dynamic, is um, very, very low. So made of birch plywood, um, the construction of it, um, very solid. Again, it is the same type of construction found in the Evox 8 and the Evox 5. Um, they've done a phenomenal job with these things. Um, the Evox 12 is a little bit bigger um, as far as the box is concerned, um, and we'll get into that, but it's got a carry handle, or not a carry handle, but a cart handle on the back. It's got wheels on the bottom, and we'll get in and show you that. This speaker does not slip down in the back like the, um, the Evox 8 does uh, for portability, but um, with what this thing does, um, carrying around an extra speaker or whatever as far as portability is going to be a non-issue. It does come with the standard pole. It is a screw socket in the top so it locks it in tight. And then the, um, the top box does have the pole adapter in the bottom of it. It does come with these three little clippies to go on the poles to be able to route the cable that goes from the back of the amplifier at the top of the, the sub box here um, up to the top box, up the pole. Um, but we have already, um, as you can see, we've taken it out of the box, um, have already played with this thing and listened to it. And I can tell you that this is going to be an absolutely amazing system. This thing is going to be great for small, um, well, not even small, maybe even medium sized events. Um, set it up on a stage, let it go. Um, DJs, this is going to be an absolutely phenomenal rig with the output of the 15 inch sub and the output of this top box. Um, taking two of these things into an event, you're going to kill them. Um, as far as the performer goes, um, three, four hundred people with a pair of these things with no problem. Um, and that is driving it pretty loud and pretty hard. Um, as you saw with our other video, we've done a, uh, a local church here with a pair of Evox 8s. Um, that's 200 people on average with a pair of Evox 8s, and that Evox 8 system can rip their head off. 
um, in that building. Um, absolutely amazing as far as output in there, running a full band through it, keyboards, um, Roland V drums, Sans Amp bass, um, everything. So this kind of takes that Evox 8 to the next level um, and really gets some wild and crazy performance out of the thing that um, getting close to kind of what the NXL 24 does with RCF in a separate subwoofer, this is getting very, very close to that kind of ability um, with the drivers that are in this top box. With the way that we have listened to this thing, the highs and everything out of those drivers is just absolutely pristine and clear. Um, we even walked around it to the back and believe it or not, you can still get the depth um, of the high frequencies out of this box. Even from behind it, I was just like, wow, where is that coming from? Um, totally amazing. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to take apart the, um, the top box first, show you the drivers and everything and the construction in that for the Evox 12. And then we'll go ahead and get into the, uh, the 15 inch um, low frequency driver and amplifier unit and show you what that's all about as well. But um, again, we are just really happy that, uh, to bring you this new um, product from RCF, uh, the Evox 12. So we're going to get into it, and um, like I said, we're going to do another video on the performance of it and um, kind of show you and do a walk around um, and maybe do some measurements uh, as far as SPL and things like that from various dis distances um, here at the office uh, out in the parking lot. So anyway, we're going to get into it, get the top box taken apart, and um, get her done. A little bit of change in plans. We are going to do the subwoofer first since it's already up here and we won't have to lift it up and down again. We're going to go ahead and do that. So we've gone through taking the four threaded um, bolts out of the, uh, the grill assembly and it's the same as the Evox um, 8. Um, it is isolated here um, right on the edge of the grill for all four mounting points and then those end up um, screwing into um, threaded inserts um, right here on the, uh, the grill assembly and locks the, um, the grill in very tight. Um, again, foam um, on the grill so it kind of blocks um, and doesn't show the speaker on the inside so it gives a really nice um, professional look to the, um, to the Evox 12. Again, very solid rigid construction with the materials used on the, um, on the grill. So we'll set that off to the side here. Um, what we've done now is um, we've exposed the 15-inch um, the woofer and um, we're going to go ahead and um, get that out and maybe reposition the camera a little bit so that we can um, get a better view of the inside of this um, Evox 12 um, 15-inch low-frequency unit. Okay, we've gone ahead and pulled the, um, all the screws out of the 15-inch driver. And um, this is kind of where this cabinet gets um, all of its weight. But um, I'm going to go ahead and um, come around to the front here so that we can pull this thing and work on it here. Um, go ahead. We'll pull the leads. It is a... Come on, little puppy. Yikes, the positive just doesn't want to come off. It is a 4 ohm speaker, and that was a little booger to get off, but 4 ohm speaker, ceramic magnet, pretty stinking big, cooling down through the center, as you can see. Um, this is a lot of the weight of the, um, the box itself. Um, but again, um, this is a stamp frame speaker. Uh, it is a RCF driver. I don't know if you can see the little sticker there on that thing, but um, really tight suspension. But now we get into the internal of the cabinet. It is ported on the bottom. Um, I just kind of want to tilt the camera down a little bit and show you. Um, so it is ported down here in the bottom of the, of the enclosure. We'll bring that back up. And you can see all of the, um, the dampening material that they put in on the, um, the inside of this. Here's the leads for the speaker. Um, we do have the leads that go out to the jack in the top. And then um, you can see the amplifier assembly that's in there. But um, in just now, in talking into this thing, um, it's 
pretty amazing. It's pretty dead in there. So they've done a really good job um, so that this thing does not radiate um, low frequency and it keeps everything can, you know, pretty much in the cabinet and sends it out the front um, of these ports and out the front of the speaker. So um, looks like their standard um, digital amp that they've used in all of their series, the Art series, the Evox series, the HD series, um, same type of amplifier assembly. Um, it is all convection cooled. There's not a fan or anything on it inside there. So um, it's got a couple of handles on the side and I'm going to move this speaker out of the way here and see if we can't um, turn this since now it is much lighter. So now we're looking at the back of the unit. And on the back we've got this handle assembly um, that goes up and locks in place to be able to um, pull the speaker around. And then I'm going to go ahead and tilt down and um, show you the wheels that are on it. So the wheels have been cut in as you can see here on the bottom of it so that when the handles pulled up tilts back and provides a nice rolling assembly. Um, we've got a power switch here, uh, IEC input here with a fuse. We've got XLR in and XLR out. We've also got quarter inch as well and you can use that as an input as we have done um, in testing. Volume control. We have micro line input here and then also um, have a flat and a boost for the low end right there on the, um, the amplifier. And then we show that when power is on and when signal is present and then the red LED comes on when it goes into um, limiting. So um, the handle assembly is, is attached um, in four places. Um, we're going to remove that and um, get into pulling the amplifier and seeing what the amplifier again looks like. We saw it from the inside, but we're going to go ahead and pull it and uh, take a look at it. Up on the top up here, this is the um, Nutric type connector um, that attaches the um, low end to the high end and they supply the cord um, to do that. So. Um, everything is complete out of the box. All you have to do is feed signal into the XLRs out of your mixer and you are up and running. They give you a nice long power cord. I think that cord is probably 10 or 12 feet long. Um, nice IEC power cord so that you can end up going a little bit further than the normal. Um, and it's pretty heavy gauge. It looks like it's a um, probably a 14 or 16 gauge cord. Since this thing doesn't draw much power, that's appropriate. Um, as far as the gauge of the, um, the cord assembly to, um, to plug it in. But uh, we're going to go ahead and get this amplifier pulled off the back of it, take a look at that, and um, then we'll get into uh, what comprises and makes up the, um, the top box. So now we've got everything pulled out of the amplifier as far as the screws. Um, we're going to go ahead and kind of reposition the camera here so we can kind of see everything that is going on. Um, Amplifier comes out, weight of the amplifier is maybe three pounds. Um, it is on a um, connector and is tie wrapped on so it doesn't come off. Um, this is a 115 volt um, version of the amplifier. Um, it'll end up doing the auto correction. The fuse down here though just needs to be changed um, if it goes and is used for um, 220 to 240. So. Um, all surface mount technology, um, massive heat sink on the semiconductors here, um, on the amplifier, and um, all aluminum, but um, very lightweight. And we've got, out of the connector, we've got, again, as we showed you earlier, the plus and the minus for the low frequency driver, and then we've got a cable that goes up to this um, Neutrix type connector up at the top. and. Um, allows you to plug in the, um, the top box. One of the nice things about this is that this is gasketed through here um, around the amplifier and then also the back of the speaker is gasketed as well um, to be able to just to seal up any kind of air gaps or anything that, um, that may be around it. So um, Evox 12 amplifier. Everything comes out. These are all um, Allen type wood screws. Everything else is all um, threaded machine screw. Um, on this so that if you need to pull the um, woofer out for any reason and replace it, it is all on machine screws so you don't um, 
strip any you know wood or anything like that and you can always get a, uh, a tight locking um, connection back when you put the thing back on. The handles also are on thread certs um, and all threaded as well and then the, the front grille is on thread certs as well. It's typical as far as RCF design and RCF quality on the components and things that you need to get into possibly to service in the future. They make it very easy so you're not going to strip things out and you've got easy accessibility to the um, to the components. So we're going to go ahead and um, we're going to flip this around a little bit here show you the handle on the side. Um, just standard carrier handle. Um, it's got a good nice you know, rubbery grip to it. Um, this is not too bad as far as weight. Um, I don't recall off the top of my head what it is, but I'm estimating it's probably 35 or 40 pounds um, for this low frequency driver. Um, with the two handles on it and the handle on the top, it does carry fairly, fairly well um, as far as you know portability. When the wheels are on it and the handle's extended, really easy to pull and, um, and transport into a, uh, to a venue. So we're going to go ahead, get this um, assembled, get it back together, and then um, get into the um, top box. One of the things I do want to mention on this before we get the, um, the low frequency driver in is the construction of the cabinet. It is multi-layered birch plywood, um, very solid. They've glued and stapled or nailed um, this thing together with a pneumatic nailer and a very good solid cabinet. The exterior on it is um, painted with kind of a spatter um, finish. Not quite a Duratex, but um, very, you know, very nice, very rugged um, as far as the appearance is concerned. So typical to, um, to the Evox line and a lot of the um, wooden boxes uh, through the NX series line of speakers, um, all the way almost getting up into um, the TT series. Um, but the TT series does have kind of a Duratex finish on it. But again, good job. The top handle has got kind of a rubberized grip to it up here. Um, on the top and then there's also the um, the screw thread um, for the um, the pole that goes in there and locks in tight that's one of the nice things with rcf in a lot of their boxes is they've gone into the screw thread uh, for the pole adapters on many if not all of their speakers it just provides a superior locking mechanism um, for the top speaker that you'd have on it whether You've got a separate sub with an art series speaker or a separate sub with an NX series speaker. Um, it just provides a really nice positive locking apparatus um, that they have done on theirs, which is just kind of uh, quality wise, just kind of a cut above the others. Um, it is true. You get what you pay for. It. So um, with RCF, um, the quality has always been there and uh, that's why we promote it and that's why we are very proud to be a dealer um, for RCF um, here in the United States. So we're going to go ahead and get the low frequency driver here back in and um, then we'll go ahead and get into the top box and find out what makes that top box um, so unique and um, so powerful uh, in what it does as far as um, the awesome frequency response that that thing has. Um, it is just, when we do the demo outdoors, you're just going to I would hope you'd be blown away. Unfortunately, you won't be able to hear it, um, but um, just in walking around, you'll at least be able to hear what we're going to be able to do with the camcorder, and um, you can somewhat hear the coverage of it, what it is. So 15-inch driver goes back in. We'll get into the top box. Okay, here is what I think everybody's been waiting for is what makes this top box so special. We've got all of the screws out of it. And so we are going to see what we can do here to pop off this um, front grill without destroying things. But it doesn't want to come off. There we go. Kind of like it's been painted on. There we go. All the screws and everything in it and freshly painted. Okay, let's see. I think we've got it. Yes. So there's the grill. Um, again, foam in the back. 
and um, again solid construction looks and feels like the same gauge as the um, the grill on the low frequency driver so here are all of the drivers in this um, so there are eight two four six eight um, and these are four inch drivers um, they've kind of got this surround with a little um, and I think this has to do um, with the high frequency capabilities of these speakers um, that it ends up with the voice coil kind of making little tweeters with them, so to speak. Um, but what we're going to do is um, they've got, you know, kind of acoustic suspension surrounds on them. So this is not, um, not ported, fully enclosed um, as far as the construction is concerned. And we're going to go ahead and pull one of these 4-inch um, drivers and take a peek at it. Um, here and show you what this um, top box is all about. Again, the sound out of this thing is just absolutely amazing. The highs are absolutely pristine. The mids, um, it's just amazing what they've been able to do um, with the DSP coming out of the amplifier for all of these drivers and being able to get that 30 degree directivity um, so that this thing is just like in your face. Good wide horizontal dispersion. 90 degrees is in the specs, but uh, my guess that real world, it's going to go a lot more. It's going to go 100 or 110. So um, we're going to go ahead and open up and get uh, one of these drivers out and show you what is in there. Um, this top box, um, weight-wise, 10, 11 pounds. Not bad. You know? So um, as far as portability, nothing's really that heavy. The subwoofer box, again, has got most of the weight to it. Um, so it's really an easy setup to do if you're taking it out of a car or even a, a little minivan or something. Uh, fairly easy to do. Grab a buddy to help you pull out the, the subwoofer if you need to. But set up for the top box, anybody can do this thing. It is just extremely light to be able to lift that thing up and put it up on the top pole um, on top of the low frequency driver. So getting the driver pulled and um, we'll show you what this looks like. So we've got it opened up, as you can see here, and the little driver. These are 8 ohm drivers. Um, so we'll go ahead and get this pulled here. So we can take a little bit better look at it. Um, stamped basket, um, gasketed around the back here, as you can see. And um, the way that they probably got it configured is we probably got four speakers in 8 ohm um, series parallel together and we've got these series parallel together so it's probably presenting a, um, a 4 ohm load to the amplifier is my guess without getting into it. Um, speaker wise this thing might weigh a pound and a half maybe. Um, and then as far as the construction of the cabinet again we've got the multi-layered um, plywood. Again we've got some dampening material inside of it and then um, everything is just with the little push-on connectors, um, as you can see there, um, to be able to, uh, to connect the speakers. These guys remind me um, of the speakers in the RCF uh, VSA 2050s. We recently put one of those in a church um, that had um, 20 drivers in it uh, with 50-watt uh, amplifiers to each of the drivers. Pretty amazing column speaker as far as um, output and directional control. So, um, but that's kind of what these guys um, remind me of here. So we've got eight of those in. Um, everything again for those is on the little thread certs. So they go in should anything need to be replaced. Heaven forbid, um, they can be replaced without worrying about stripping out the wood in the box. The same is true for the, um, uh, the screws that go into the can't really see that, but into holding the grill on that they're all threaded and Allen nut and flush into the grill um, so that the grill can be taken off and removed um, very easily uh, without ever worrying about stripping anything out um, as far as the, um, the box is concerned. Um, again, you can see evidence that this thing is all um, nailed and or stapled together, glued, screwed, whatever you want to call it. Um, in the back of it, We've got the connector, um, kind of at a slightly down angle here that uh, plugs in for the, um, the amplifier to drive this top box. But um, once we get in and do the video that we're going to do for the outside 
setup of this in uh, the listening experience, so to speak, um, you're going to be amazed at what this thing, this box here um, is all about and what it's doing. So um, we ended up bringing these in. We had not heard them. Um, we had a lot of people that were at the Infocom show that had heard them. Unfortunately, we were able, not able to go to Infocom this year. We are going to NAM. So if you are going to the NAM show, um, be sure to find us there, um, either at the, uh, the RCF booth or, um, or DB Technologies, um, or just walking around. Hey, run into us, we'll buy you a beer. Um, we're also going to be at uh, WFX in, uh, in Nashville. Um, coming up in, uh, in November, uh, right before uh, Thanksgiving. So if you're going to WFX, look us up. Um, we'll buy you a beer. So um, with that said, we're going to go ahead and get this back together. Um, one of the things that I wanted to bring up um, with the RCF warranties. Um, the RCF has um, two years from the date of purchase. Register your product online, you get an extra year. So you get three years of warranty um, if you go in and register your speaker. Two years if you don't. Um, but you need to register it, um, I think, within like 90 days or sooner um, to, um, to get that extra um, year of warranty. Well worth it, peace of mind. Um, and then you don't have to worry about anything. RCF's very good. Um, here in the United States, um, repair facility um, very close to Edison, New Jersey, where the, uh, the warehouse is. Um, they have been fantastic. Um, we have sent back very few product, but the ones we have, they have been able to turn it around really quick here in the USA. Um, exceptional folks there at RCF and uh, just absolutely um, wonderful to work with as far as um, product knowledge and just ready to help, um, kind of like us. So um, there you have it. This is the RCF Evox 12. Um, there's some other products that uh, we are going to be doing videos um, on in the near future for RCF and others. Um, we're going to be doing a video on the new Allen Heath DLive coming up. Uh, so we're going to be taking delivery, hopefully, um, at the end of September um, with our 48 channel stage box and 7000 surface. But um, that is it for the Evox. Um, watch for another video. We're going to go ahead and get this one up, get it posted. It's probably going to be a week or two behind to do the live demo. Um, it just takes a little bit of time to get all the videos together and be able to get the time to do that. Um, we're going to try to do some stuff uh, that is um, not licensed music um, that anybody knows. So at least we can play some stuff and YouTube won't blot it out. Um, as they've done in some of our other videos, unfortunately. So anyway, um, that's it. RCF Evox 12. Buy these. They are absolutely amazing. Um, if you're in Northern California, give us a ring. 209-832-8023 and come out for a, a listen demo. If you have any questions on any of the RCF product, give us a call. 209-832-8023. Um, we are on the web. The website is www.trinityprosound.com. We are on Facebook and also here on YouTube. Um, so we're posting stuff all the time. We just posted a couple of videos on uh, Facebook uh, when we did an event last weekend with the RCF uh, TT33A system that we have. So um, everybody that came to that event was just stinking blown away um, by the sound of the TT boxes. So there you have it. Um, it is Trinity Productions, trinityprosound.com, and RCF Evox 12. Thanks for stopping by.